there and welcome to the locker room. Coach Giggs here and today's message, no excuse for making excuses. No excuse for making excuses. When Bill Clinton published his best-selling memoir in 2004, he knew he would have to deal with the Monica Lewinsky scandal during his second term. He did so by explaining it as a personal failure, a yielding to private demons. Once people reach the age of accountability, no matter what people do to them, he said, that is not an excuse for any mistakes they make. He goes on to say, on the other hand, one does seek to understand why he or she makes the mistakes that they make. I was involved in two great struggles at the same time. A great public struggle over the future of America with the Republican Congress and a private struggle with my old demons. I won the public one and lost the private one, he said. I don't think it's much more complicated than that. That's not an excuse, but it is an explanation, and that is the best I can do, end quote. Bill Clinton understood the distinction, and not just because his behavior was inexcusable. There simply is no excuse for making excuses. When you hear yourself, for example, saying, I'm sorry I was late, but traffic kept me from being here on time. That really is a lame excuse. And it doesn't excuse the fact that you kept people waiting. You should have started earlier. What's the worst thing that could happen? You arrived ahead of time? It's okay. Use that time to relax, to get a cup of coffee to maybe read a little bit in a book that you wanted to catch up on, to maybe better prepare yourself for that day. You'll be in a much more relaxed state and a better state if you arrive early. But yet some people, they're consistently late and they're always making excuses for it. It's lame and we really need you and me in this locker room to not make excuses, just simply move forward. Don't give your power away by making excuses. When we do this, we'll be living our best life because we don't allow ourselves to go down that path. No excuse for making excuses. Let's not do it and let's live our best life. Thanks for joining me in the locker room, gang. Happy Friday. Have a great weekend and we'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye. If you've enjoyed and feel that The Daily Locker Room has served as an inspiration in your life, why not take this moment and do the same for a friend by sending them The Daily Message? 